Hello everyone, it is me Haley, and it is time, you excuse me, it is time to do June reading what I read in June. I read five books in June. Number one, The Fine Print. Why is it in Spanish? Um. Okay, I really. Okay, anyways. The first book I read was The Fine Print by Lauren Asher, and it's the first book in the Dreamland Billionaires series. And. It is about. Rowan is determined to renovate Dreamland their family theme park so it's kind of like disneyland and fulfill his grandfather's last wish while also getting his inheritance then he be but then he become but then he comes across the beautiful and talented zara and she awakes inside him a side that has long stayed dormant it's actually really cute um i rated it if i can get back right i rated it a five stars the next book that I read was the second book in the Dreamland series, which is Terms and Conditions. And I just cleared my rating. I actually think I like this book more. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, Declan. I'm Did I not just say Declan? Rowan, okay. Declan, I'm destined to become the next CEO of my family's media empire. So this is Rowan's brother. The only problem, my grandfather's inheritance clause. Fulfilling his dying wish of getting married and having an heir seemed impossible until my assistant volunteered for the job. Our marriage was supposed to be the perfect solution to my biggest problem, but the more we act in love for the public, the more unsure I feel about our contract. Caring about Iris was never part of the deal, especially not when breaking her heart is inevitable. Iris, my plan is to marry... My plan to marry Declan was simple in theory. Move in together, throw a wedding, have a baby. We set rules to prevent any kind of issues. Once that we were never meant to be broke once that were never meant to be broken, no matter how much Declan tempts me. But what happens when our fake relationship leads into our real one? Falling in love was never an option, at least not for me. Wait that five out of five. Really cute. I do like Declan more than I like Rowan. They're both like grumpy sunshine though, which I love, but um, yeah, I like them better. There's a third one too, which is called the fine print terms and conditions, the final something, the final print, final offer. Okay. And I haven't read that one, but that's about their brother Callahan or something like that. I think it's Callahan. Next book that I read was the second series, the second book in the Chestnut Springs series. The first one was Flawless, mm -hmm, and the second one's Heartless, and I did like this one more, I think. But working as a nanny for the world's grumpiest single dad could have been s simple, should have been simple, except I can't keep my eyes off of him, and he can't keep his hands off me. Kate Eaton is 13 years older than I am and barely looks my way until I get him into the hot tub one night for a game of truth and dare. Blah, blah, blah. For a game of truth or dare. Then all bets are off. He's gruff. Why did that sound like a wrong word? He's gruff, a little rough around the edges, but broad shoulders, shouldered ranchers with calloused. Dude, these words are so tiny. Hands and. But broad shouldered ranchers with calloused hands are this city's girl's kryptonite. So who am I to resist? But it's in our quiet moments together that he softens. When he takes care of me, I realize his hardened exteriors, exterior is just a facade. It's when I watch him go all sweet with his little boy that I really fall for him. Someone convinced him once that his best wasn't good enough, but I've never felt more cherished than I do in his arms. My contract may say this is an arrangement. My contract may say this arrangement is only for two months, but my heart says this is forever. So cute. Rated it five out of five. I think I don't have my my default setting for a book I like is five out of five. If I don't like you, you're going to get a three, but I rarely give books four or two or one. Um, the next book that I read, there are also a lot of books in that series, I realized. The Chestnut Spring series. The third one, I think, is Jasper, which I'm actually kind of excited for that one. Is it Jasper? Hopefully it's Jasper. 
yeah and that one's powerless and then the fourth one is reckless with theo which is the dude from the first books like what's the word i can't even word. like the word for you have someone under you that you're like mentoring you know what i'm talking about i can't think of it and then the last book is hopeless but i'm pretty sure it's like really new so they don't even have who's in it yet but yeah there's five book series and i've read two five books in the series and i've read two the fourth book that i read this month was fear the reapers and it's the first book jeez i have read all series um anyways fear the reapers which is the first of the reapers of caspian hills series but this is actually a really good book poor thing has no idea what she's gotten herself into the sacrificial lamb for her stepfather's sins she foolishly traded her life for his one look at her and we knew she didn't belong beautiful innocent good everything a world like ours would devour if we were better men we'd let her go but my brothers and i are sinful bastard bastards bastards and then i read the second book to it which was queen of the reapers doesn't even have a synopsis but it's basically my thing is the first one was bomb the but then the first one ended in a weird way so i read the second one and there's a lot of unnecessary drama and it's just like they keep making her mess it up with them or them mess it up with her and it's just really annoying because they're not like they keep doing things to break each other's trust especially her she's really annoying so i don't i i don't know if i'm gonna read the third one because i honestly was reading the reviews and they were like you ruined it which i was kind of feeling in the last one it was good and i rated them both three out of five so i'll tell you know i didn't really but there's a last one but all of the ratings overall are three stars which makes sense because that's what i rated it but like the last book someone literally wrote don't worry a very disappointing ending the series started out great became mediocre with the second book and basically sucked in the final book so i don't know if i'm gonna read the last one because like it's not like i'm itching to know what happens next the shatter me series um i'm i really want to know how it ends but i just haven't picked it up yet speaking of shadow me series it's right there but um i just haven't picked it up yet the king of concert series is that what it's called the whatever i want to know how it ends but i'm waiting for the third book to get released so before i finish the second book so what i won't do is wait so long um oh the biggest series that i want to finish is the never after series but again can't do that because I have the fourth book and not the fifth book because the fifth book hasn't even came out yet, but she's literally going to release it soon, I think. Actually, I have it in my calendar when she's going to release it. Cross book. The first of August. Let's go. But yeah, I'm, do I'm just not really curious of how the series ends, so I think I'm going to not read the last one. Just like the... Oh, what's that called? Summer I Turned Pretty. The last book, I don't feel the need to read it because I don't like the way the second one ended. There's, obviously, if you've seen the show or read any of the books, there's two options, Conrad or Jeremiah. I don't like either of them in the book. And obviously, she's going to end up with one of them, and I don't want her to end up with either. So, I'm not going to read the last one. Do want to watch the new season that came out, though. It's coming out. Did it come out already? But, Yeah. And that's all the books I read for June. I'm reading three books right now, I think. Is it three or two? Two books right now. And I'll actually I'll let you know which ones those are. Actually, I might DNF that for another day. So I'll just tell you the book I'm reading right now. Right now, I am reading One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McMahons. McManus. I don't know if that's a U or an N. But yeah, it's another series. Sue me. But I cannot wait to read the sequel and then the 
last one. So far I'm here and I have this much left, but it's really good. I've, on, I've already finished, there's parts in it and I've already finished part one. Oh, here, see? I'm in part two. It's good so far though. All right, bye-bye.